Kobe, do you want to play around with this? What do you think? You're the only kid in your class that can say you were inside your brain. I saw my brain. Yeah, you did. It's all inside of it. What it used to look like anyway. I woke up one morning and I didn't feel good. <laughs> He was doing this really weird movement with okay. his right arm and right leg. We saw three different doctors at three different facilities. They diagnosed it a tick and felt comfortable saying, just monitor it overnight. It's Memorial Day weekend. You're not going to get a team here anyway to do any imaging. Follow up with your pediatrician Tuesday. He says, uh, your son has a problem. And you just see this mass in his head about the size of a golf ball. At a loss for words. And he said, This is too advanced for Bakersfield. Do you have to go to UCLA? I got a phone call by a neurologist in Kobe's hometown who wanted me to see him right away. Dr. Fala diagnosed it as a cavernous malformation. Where this malformation was sitting, right beside the thalamus, it was causing pressure and potential injury to the thalamus. That's why he was having that weakness on the right side. When you get so much information at one time and it's your baby, you know, it, it's really hard to take in. able to show what things look like in 3D and it doesn't really take much of an anatomy lesson to explain what's going on. Being able to see an image like that, it really helped us understand what was going on in Kobe's brain. It was easier than seeing a regular MRI image, which is just a flat plate. Just black and white with a blurry spot. It helped to visualize it. You just kind of got a better idea of what we were dealing with and it made it a lot easier on me to know how it was going to go. I love you. On the day of the surgery, we're walking away. He says to Jessica, don't go, mommy. We're just like, oh my goodness. We just went around the corner and got it together as much as we could. The surgery lasted about seven hours. It took us many hours for us to very carefully remove this cavernous malformation from the most critical structures in the brain, very important arteries and veins that were quite stuck to it. It's the inside of the tumor, uh -huh. right here. Precision VR really allows us to rehearse this operation and find the path to this lesion in the brain that gives us the safest entry point, the shortest distance, and the least probability of causing any neurological damage. This really helped us take the guesswork out of surgery. Even though we were there for the first time, it didn't feel like it was the first time. Kobe's doing incredible. You would never know that anything was ever a problem before. I like this part a lot. After Dr. Fala took the thing out of my head, I feel better. Everything's back to normal. Thank you for helping me, Dr. Fala.